Morning folks, nothing in the traps today, got my trail camera here, I'll have to look and see if anything came around or not, but I uh, kind of figured that after that raccoon, turn this off here, kind of figured that after that raccoon got caught and had such a, <laughs> such a rough night trying to get out, that he might be a little hard to catch. Hopefully, he decided that this place wasn't safe and he'll stay away for a while, but sooner or later he'll be back. The, the hunting was just too good here. But uh, that's kind of good and bad in two different ways. That, that means that most likely there's just one and not the whole family of them. Because the rest of them would have come back anyway. And uh, it's bad because sooner or later he will be back. And when he does, he's going to probably be harder to catch. And he's probably going to get some more chickens. So anyway, about all I can do is keep the traps set and keep trying. See what happens. The bees are doing pretty good. Look at these guys. They're really pretty active today. It's a nice day. The weather, for being October, is really very warm. And uh, there's no breeze. It's a nice day. These bees are probably doing pretty well gathering what little pollen is left out here to gather. There isn't a lot of flowers and things, but they can get it from trees and all sorts of other stuff too. The pine trees and sagebrush, they're all blooming and uh, making my allergies explode. <laughs> but it's good for the bees. They're doing some road work on the highway and tearing up the old blacktop and putting down some new. Uh, they wanted to know if the fairgrounds wanted some of it. So this black stuff here, it's kind of weird. It's... Uh, Chewed up highway. Well, they say we can take and reuse this. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure how, but uh, we're supposed to be getting quite a few loads of this stuff. So this is where, during the fair, they have what they call the hospitality tent. It's a it's a wall tent they set up. But if you if you've been watching my stuff for a little while, uh, back in August, the wind picked up and it tore it to shreds. The, we had a little circus tent here and we had an outfitter wall tent here that they, they put food in and some beer and stuff like that. And what it's for is for the sponsors for the rodeo and the rodeo contestants. It's a thank you for coming and they... They feed them and, you know, like I say, give them a little bit of free beer, free meal, and all this stuff. And it's a pretty neat deal. But uh, <laughs> right before the rodeo last year, the, or this year, um, I don't remember how far before, two, two, three, four hours maybe before it was all supposed to start, we had high winds come through and it tore that old circus tent to shreds, destroyed it knocked down the wall tent it was a disaster but they were able to borrow another tent which i think they actually bought afterward and uh, they saved the day they they got it all put back together but uh, i'm still surprised they pulled that off because it was a mess And anyway, this this stuff here behind me, that black stuff, I need to go get the tractor and see if I can't smooth that out and make a kind of a pad for that tent. The 
thing I just thought of just this second is that that tent takes tent stakes that they have to drive into the ground. I wonder if anybody thought about that. If it's blacktop, that might be a little hard to do or mess it up. Anyway, talking about high winds and disasters, that hurricane that came through in North Carolina and Florida and the, you know, all that East Coast. Uh, I don't know. I hope you folks have been kind of following that. There is very little about that on the news. And it is a much, much worse thing than what we've been told. There are a lot of people, entire towns that have been destroyed, a lot of people missing, a lot of people dead. And yet, I mean, the our government has done a little bit, but not near enough to help these people. There's, like I say, there's very little about it on the news. It really makes me mad. They're so dang worried about getting elected that they don't care about our people. Here's a couple of the comments that I've been sent that are from people that are there. Okay, so if you've been following it all, you know, we had Hurricane Helene, I guess they're calling it, that caused all this damage. But now there's another one on the way named Milton. And, I mean, they're getting hit again. So it's not looking too good for these folks. Anyway, so here we go. Um, it says here, our weather is deteriorating rapidly. It started raining yesterday, and it doesn't look like it's letting up overnight. The wind is picking up as well. They're giving mandatory evacuation orders to all the coastal areas. Someone said, an official said, if you stay in an area that has been given a mandatory evacuation order, then write your social security number on your arm for identification. I mean, they're talking bodies, people. I haven't personally heard this myself, but as bad as it sounds, it's actually a good idea. If you don't make it, you won't get lost and listed as a Jane Doe. Well, I've got stuff to get done before this gets any worse. They've told us power loss is inevitable, so if you don't hear from me, I'll catch up when I can. Landfall is expected to be Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Have a great day. Yeah, that's... How would you like to be there? I mean, I, I've never been around a hurricane. Uh, you know it's coming, and you can't do anything about it. That would be, it'd be a pretty doggone scary deal. And here's another one. Um, hi, Mraskrat. Hope you and Cindy are doing well. We live in west of Asheville, Tennessee, under the under the Blue Ridge Parkway in the Appalachian Mountains, about 30 miles from town. This is Saturday, and we just got power back on yesterday at 11.30 a.m. Lost all of our freezer food and a lot of other things, but that's okay. Still alive. Other people and family got hit a lot worse. It looks like a war zone. Had to use creek water and spring water to survive, but we knew how to do that. We, we live... Nowhere near the coast. It's about a seven-hour drive to get to the ocean, so this is crazy. Looks like nothing that I have ever seen in my 67 years of being on this planet and have lived here all my life. No water, food, lights, cell phone, house phone, or internet completely cut off from the rest of the world. All the stores can't operate. Like I said, it is bad, and that is an understatement. This is just a little update. Haven't, haven't even touched the icing on the cake and y'all have a great day, and keep us in, keep all of us Appalachian hillbillies in your prayers. Love, Greg and Kathy. Absolutely, are in my prayers. Like I said, this is it's unimaginable to me. I've been in some bad storms before, but never a hurricane. Uh, as a kid, we were close to a tornado and kind of saw the things it can do, but we don't live in that. Part of the country where those things are common a big storm here or forest fires here is a completely different thing i mean we're not we're talking apples and oranges it ain't at all the same that anyway our our government i mean they have done a little bit now 
they're really slow getting anything going but they have done a little bit brought in a little bit of aid that it just makes me so dang mad he can't I mean we're hearing about what Camilla has for breakfast and crap like that not the important stuff they have done very little to help these people she posted a thing um, right after going to see this wreck um, I can't remember what country now anyway about some other country needing help not our own and <laughs> I mean they don't care people they don't care at all and don't vote Democrat I mean neither side is great but the Democrats they've proven after this they've proven it after that train wreck in Ohio where they did nothing they've proven it the forest or the fires in Hawaii they proved that they don't care about the American people and that's just a few of them there's been a lot of other things anyway I'm getting kind of irritated. <laughs> I'm going to give up with this now. Probably get some hate mail, but I don't care. If you don't like it, get the heck out of here. We don't want your kind. See you in a bit.